discuss about the motion and rest so first of all what is rest let me discuss uh, let me tell you that when a body when a body does not change when a body does not change its position does not change its position with respect to its surrounding with respect to its surrounding is said to be in rest okay whenever a body is not changing its, its position then it is known that this body is in the condition of rest a what is the example the example is a person who is sitting in the car the car is moving but the person is not changing its position so so this one person is in the condition of rest okay then if we discuss about okay then if we discuss about the motion motion as well this when a body change its position when a body change its position with respect to its surrounding is known as motion for example we are having a bike we are having a car that is moving okay if it is moving so it is moving it, it is changing it is doing movement so it is this body will be known as that in a condition of motion when a body is not changing its position so it is the person that is sitting inside of the car is in the condition of rest and the car this one this one body is in the condition of motion now we are having three types of motion let discuss those things okay so number first one is linear motion or transitory motion oh what does it it means that a body that is doing movement or changing changing its position in a straight line as i give you the example of a car that uh, for example a car is just moving on a straight road so it means that the car is doing a linear motion okay then let's take the another example of circular motion it is a second type that is circular motion for example whenever a body is moving in a circular way or in a rotatory way so it is known as circular motion for example we are having a fan a fan is continuously moving in a circular condition a circular motion uh, in a ro rotatory motion so it is known as circular it is doing circular motion so let, uh, the last one is uh, oscillatory or vibratory motion oscillatory or vibratory motion for example we can take the example of a pendulum or a spring we are having this one spring if we push this one uh, spring into downward side and when we left to wo upar ki taraf jayega and motion present karega ek tarah ka it would be known as vibratory motion acha ji ab let's discuss about the distance and displacement distance is a path or a way that is followed by a body followed by a body during its motion during its motion is known as distance it is a scalar quantity i told you in my previous videos that what a scalar and vector quantity and the si unit of distance is meter a what is displacement displacement is the shortest distance between two points it is shortest distance between the two points is known as displacement this is a vector quantity and the si unit of distance and displacement is same meter